Okay, well, I was not expecting this to happen, but if you guys can listen. So we uh, found the sound. So I've got my flashlight here so you guys can see a little bit uh, better. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today is not exactly a great day. I know that I look pretty normal, but I am actually very, very upset. So we have a couple things to go over with the Raptor. We have a factory defect to talk about and then we also had an incident with the truck already. It only has about 100 miles on it, so it is very, very upsetting. And with all that being said, I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of background uh, for the incident part, and then we'll get into the manufacturer defect with the truck. So in terms of the incident, literally, you guys will see with the footage, I was just driving along, and then there was a weird sound, and then I went and checked the truck, and yeah, completely unbelievable. Didn't hear anything when it happened, just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, and it, it's just crazy. Like, once you guys see what it is, it's just, you're gonna be like, what? Okay, well, I was not expecting this to happen, but if you guys can listen. Hopefully this pops up on the camera. So you guys can see as I move, it makes a crazy sound. When I'm not moving, it doesn't make a crazy sound. Something is already broken with the Raptor and it only has 136 miles on that. And that is not counting the thing that was already wrong with it from the factory, so RIP Raptor. So we uh, found the sound that is coming from the Raptor. I'm not sure exactly what this is, where it came from, um, but yeah, it's kind of stuck in there. That is absolutely crazy. So we've got some good news and some bad news. This is definitely not part of the Raptor, I can tell. But the bad news is it is stuck. Like, I am trying to pull this out and I cannot. And also, thank goodness for protection on the shocks because, yeah, that would have destroyed them. But everything's fine because, yeah, it didn't, like, damage anything. But it is, like, jammed into the wheel. Can't really see it from this angle, but... I'm not sure what to do. Thank goodness I didn't drive that far with it. Okay, so now that you guys have seen the videos and kind of understand a little bit of background, like it's just crazy that I wouldn't have seen that on the road or anything because like it's so, and I actually I actually kept it with us. It's like, it's so obvious, it's gigantic, but I, apparently it like snuck up on me and I guess it's now a uh, souvenir here in the back of the truck right now. It looks like it's part of a sign or something and uh yeah like i said didn't see it didn't hear anything i don't know if this happened on the highway and then finally it like fell down and then it started making the crazy scraping sound i i don't know i'm, I'm at a complete loss um but as you guys saw earlier in the video there is definitely some damage and i don't know if it's gonna pop up here yeah the camera's not really showing it so i'm gonna try to get under here as best as i can and try to illuminate it as much as I can here so you guys can kind of hopefully see the shock. Um, so there's this protection here for the shock and you guys can see a chunk out of it. Uh, so that's not horrible, right? Because that's gonna happen with off-roading and all that kind of stuff. Rocks and debris are gonna hit this stuff. Um, and so the fact that it didn't go all the way through is great. Uh, so I guess that is a positive out of the situation. The thing that I'm more worried about, and I gotta kinda crawl under here even more, is here with the um, protection here on the brakes. So this is just to uh, protect the rotors. And again, same thing, right? You got the protection here for the Fox shocks, and then you've got the protection here for the rotors. And um, I don't know if it's popping on camera very well, but again, pretty big chunk taken out of it it's not very it's not popping up on camera pretty well um, but yeah I'm gonna get uh, both items checked out by the Ford store make sure that everything is a-okay that I can drive the truck all that kind of stuff so I mean I'll st like it, it drives normal right now so I'm not too worried so I'm gonna continue to drive it uh, and I'm gonna check it out a little bit more just to kind of make sure it looks like everything's fine um, but I might have to get the protection replaced here this I don't think so I think we'll be fine because it looks like it's, again, not very deep, and I don't think there's going to be any issues. The thing I'm worried about with here with the brakes is with uh, debris getting through the little hole and everything, and then slowly kind of messing things up from that perspective. Uh, but I guess things could have been worse. But yeah, the crazy part is like nothing else underneath here, and sorry about the, uh, I'm trying to, I got to turn the brightness down a little bit so you guys can see this area. Nothing else underneath has been damaged. Like everything else looks completely normal. So somehow, some way, 
This thing got sucked up under the truck and only hit these two things. That is it. Nothing else. Like, I, I literally have looked all over with the rest of the truck and uh, nothing else. Also, getting under the truck, I totally hit my head in the sidestep. And now I have a bruise in the back of my head. So uh, today's just getting better and better. So I've got my flashlight here so you guys can see a little bit uh, better. It's I can't get the camera through because the microphone is literally against the uh, shock. But yeah, it doesn't look like anything got damaged with the rotor. Again, I'm still going to get it checked out just in case. But yeah, I guess that's why that protection is there. I mean, you know, originally it was there for off-road debris, but I guess it's also there for on-road debris as well. That's just a crappy situation. So I guess I have to see the uh, light and the humor in all of this. I guess now I don't have to feel as bad about taking the uh, new Raptor off-road because, well, <laughs> it's... Uh, no longer brand new after that whole uh, situation. And I guess it now matches the T-Rex because we uh, still have the uh, dent here at the bottom from our last off-roading adventure that got to get hammered out. Man, both of my uh, very expensive trucks are damaged right now. And this is uh, kind of a sad moment for the channel. But the thing that I will say is after all the off-roading with the T-Rex, the shock guards here, as you guys can see, that are very dirty, are still fully intact. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, ton tons of off-roading with the TRX, tons and tons of off-roading, and we have done some road trips with it and everything, and we have fully intact shock guards. First 100 miles here in the Raptor, and that's what happens. And now let's get into the factory defect part of things, and some people might be very upset about this. Me, on the other hand, it's like, I'm just completely relaxed about it, and I'm like, I know it'll get taken care of one way or another, and here it is. So. This might not look like much. You guys might be like, okay, Ben Hardy, your truck is just dirty. This is actually adhesive. All of this adhesive is from the decals here on the top of the truck. And so it completely leaked down and it is all down the front fender. You guys can see, and it will not come off. Like it is completely ingrained in the paint. Now I don't know if there was an attempt to use adhesive remover or anything, but yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't know if they're going to be able to get this off. Again, like I said, maybe adhesive remover will be able to work to fix this problem. But worst case scenario, the whole front fender might have to be repainted, which is pretty crazy. But I mean, and also the hood because it's it's uh, right there on the hood as well. So yeah, again, some people might make like a huge deal of it and freak out, but I'm trying to stay calm and relaxed about it. And I'm like, okay, I'm sure they'll figure something out. Uh, that's a reasonable solution to where we don't have to repaint a whole portion of the truck because that would suck again like if if this thing wasn't right here on the side of the hood then it would just be the fender and i mean that still sucks to like have to repaint this much of the truck but that's a big difference from having to repaint this and then also the whole entire hood area um but yeah i mean also compared to the other gen 3 defects i've seen this is pretty uh minimal and there you guys can kind of see the little end of the drops as well so it's a little bit uh better but yeah i'm not exactly sure why that happened or how that happened i'm guessing there's just an issue with drying and someone you know missed it and maybe they just thought the truck was dirty i don't know but anyways there's tons of adhesive that leaked out from the uh sticker so i guess that is a downside to the decals is you could potentially have this with the truck and again for me it's no big deal because i know that there's going to be an answer to fix the problem but I mean, I guess it still kind of sucks. I don't think it's on the door panel though. Let's see. I haven't really looked super close at this. Yeah, it is just on that front fender. So that is good that it didn't get on the door panel. So it's, it's, it looks like it's literally just on this front fender right here. And uh, it's funny, it's kind of like it like leaked through and under, uh, which is probably exactly what it did which is kind of interesting. So that is pretty much gonna sum things up for today's uh, slightly sad and depressing video. I guess it could have gone a lot worse. I mean, that piece could have gotten lodged in something. Well, I mean, the brake system is very important. The shock system is very important, but at least I wasn't left stranded on the side of the road. And at least I was able to actually like physically uh, pull it out even though it was uh, pretty difficult. And for those of you wondering, uh, in terms of the comparisons with this and the T-Rex, so obviously I did the walk-around comparison. I am going to be doing an on-road driving comparison soon. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below which you would rather see, uh, or if you want to see all of it. So I was thinking about doing like a highway and then canyon comparison in the same video. So like doing point of view drives with both of the trucks 
on of like around town highway and then also in some canyons so you guys can see like on curvy roads with both of the trucks and then also um, on the highway so we can talk about uh, you know the strengths and weaknesses with uh, both of these trucks from that uh, perspective and then also another video that I do plan on making pretty soon is about the Bronco and about the Raptor because a lot of people have been asking what happened to the Bronco why did I do what I did with the Bronco and then obviously people have been asking how much I paid for the Raptor and everything associated with the purchase of the truck and I will be going over that in a video very very soon um, I'm just kind of trying to figure out exactly how to format that video so that I can get you guys the information in the best way possible so that it makes sense so there's no confusion because there was a ton of moving parts for the Raptor deal and if I don't explain it properly again a lot of people might end up uh, being confused and I guess the last thing that I want to mention in this video which I got to walk over here is what do I do with this should I just like uh, hang this up on the wall as like a uh, souvenir for the time that my Raptor almost got a obliterated obliterated <laughs> within the first 100 miles of ownership, which is uh, sick, sad, and depressing. So yeah, let me know what you guys think I should do with that, or maybe I should maybe I should blow it up. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we light it on fire, blow it up. I don't know. Um, but anyways, if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you think, and I will see all of you in the next video.